From a homemade dome to houseboats that are a must-have, this is Reacher with Mind's Eye Design, and here are 10 amazing small homes. Number 10. This entry by Hanamabo is the smallest of their M series. But don't be put off by the size as it has more than enough room for a single person or couple to live comfortably. Each one is composed of a steel frame with insulated panels that are water and fire resistant. It measures 12 feet by 24 feet with 273 square feet of that available as living space. Each unit has a dinette area with a dual burner stove and stainless steel sink as well as plenty of cabinet and counter space. There's also a full bathroom that has an enclosed shower. A side door and a set of sliding doors at one end allow entrance into the main living area. Large windows offer plenty of natural light while the 9-foot ceiling adds to the spacious feeling of the room. Each unit comes standard with a heat pump and energy recovery ventilator in addition to being pre-wired for solar power. Optional appliances can be added as well. Pricing on this one has not been released yet. Number 9. If I said I was jealous every time I saw one of these, I'd be understating my envy. And this awesome looking double decker from Nautilus Houseboats just adds fuel to the fire. The egg-shaped design is just over 49 feet long and 39 feet wide. The lower floor has a rear entrance door that opens up to a living area with a guest bathroom, storeroom, kitchen, and fireplace. The upper floor contains the bedroom area along with the main bathroom and dressing area. The spiral staircase allows access to each level, including the roof which can be used as a sun deck or space for solar panels. Each level has floor-to-ceiling windows as well as a wraparound deck offering panoramic views of the surroundings. Multiple options and features are available for this one with a base price of around $220,000. Number 8. Although the name sounds like something a witch would name her home, I can assure you that my mother-in-law does not live there. This modular home is available in single or double units with each having the ability to combine to form larger structures. Each one is made using aluminum or laminated beams for the base with the floor, walls, and roof all composed of structural insulated panels. The self-supporting design of the panels helps form a rigid structural shell so there's no need for added support. The prefab structure is shipped flat packed and can be set up on site in five to eight days with five people using basic tools. A single unit measures 510 square feet and contains a full kitchen, living area, bathroom, and two bedrooms, as well as a porch area. Double units measure 1,020 square feet, allowing for these areas to be expanded upon if needed. Features of these off-grid homes include solar power, passive cooling, and rainwater harvesting. Prices of these run upwards of $60,000 for a single unit and $105,000 for a double. Number 7. This aptly named Gooseneck by Alabama-based Timbercraft Tiny Homes is everything you'd need for living the outdoor lifestyle. It measures 33 feet long and 8.5 feet wide with a total living space of 416 square feet. The interior walls and flooring are made of pine with a metal roof and batten siding on the exterior. French doors open into the living room which has an electric fireplace and a couch. The kitchen includes a full-size refrigerator, gas stove, and an above-range microwave. Two loft bedrooms are accessed by a ladder and connected via a catwalk. A third bedroom is accessible by a set of stairs that also serve as extra storage. The bathroom has a full-size bathtub as well as a flush toilet, vanity, and sink. Pricing on this one starts at $84,000. Hey everyone, don't forget to subscribe for more amazing content and ring that bell to become part of our awesome notification team. Number 6. These two microhomes by Nomad stretch the boundaries of living in a small space. They come in two models, the cube which measures 156 square feet and the micro which measures 110 square feet. Both have a lower floor which has a living room, a kitchen with a dual burner range, sink and mini fridge, as well as a bathroom with a flush toilet and stand up shower. A loft area for sleeping can be accessed by either a set of stairs or a wall ladder. Each Nomad is capable of using standard municipal services with off-grid living made possible using solar power, atmospheric water generation, vertical gardening, and wastewater treatment systems. Multiple cube units can be connected to increase the size of the living space for larger families or to serve as a multi-function dwelling. Pricing starts at $28,000 for the micro and $32,000 for the cube. 
Number 5. Also from Nautilus, this entry is a smaller version of their flagship model. It measures in at a little over 29 feet in length and just under 12 feet in width with a living area of 134 square feet. Multiple floor-to-ceiling glass doors open up to the side and front decking areas to allow for natural airflow as well as providing natural light. The lower deck houses a dinette area with a dual burner range, a sink, and a mini fridge. Opposite that is an enclosed bathroom with a wet bath, toilet, and sink. The living area has a couch that can double as a bed with extra storage underneath. The controls and steering mount are housed in the main area as well. An upper deck cabin contains a twin bed that can sleep up to two people with access via a hatch in the ceiling of the lower floor. Pricing on the Natino Mini starts at around $100,000. Number four. This entry is another of the M-Series by Hanamobo. The modular shipping container home measures 34 feet by 14 feet with a living space of 419 square feet. The exterior of the structure is composed of corrugated steel with an enamel finish. The walls are filled with a spray foam insulation that is both fire and water resistant. The kitchen area borders one end of the home with a full-size refrigerator, sink, and electric range. Integrated with that is a living room that's roughly 176 square feet. The bathroom has a sink, toilet, and bathtub. A bedroom area at the other end has space for a queen-size bed as well as a built-in wardrobe and extra storage. The front wall has 31 feet of floor-to-ceiling glass which allows for natural lighting to every part of the home. The M1 is stackable as well as mobile so it can be taken with you whenever and wherever you choose to move. Pricing on this one has not been released yet. Number 3. This initial offering from Zero Squared is called the Aurora. It looks tinier than most others, but its secret is the dual expanding slides on the front and back of the home, which bring the total living space to 374 square feet. This allows the occupant to still have the features of a full-sized home without feeling like they're sacrificing anything. Upon entering, there's a dinette area with an extendable table, a three-burner stove, a sink, microwave, dishwasher, and a full-sized fridge. The bedroom area has a Murphy bed that raises into the wall with a shelf underneath. This allows it to double as office space when the bed is not in use. A dividing wall separates this area from the living room which has a couch that doubles as a fold-out bed for additional sleeping space. The bathroom has a flush toilet, a sink, wall cabinet, and a shower area measuring 12 square feet. There's also a washer-dryer combo located underneath the sink. Pricing starts at a little under $89,000. Number two, this project came about because the designer decided he wanted to make his own version of a covered wagon. He started with a trailer measuring about five feet by 10 feet, which was extended out a few feet in each direction. Steel framework was welded together to create the shape with discarded wood from local mills used for the body. Due to the variations in the wood, rope was used instead of trim where the walls meet. The open area has a fly screen to keep out the buzzing elements with a canvas tarp that rolls up and down to allow for airflow. The entrance is at one end with a wood stove on one side and a countertop with a hidden sink on the other. The opposite end of the wagon has a round window that sits above an extendable bed. A slide out table and bench seating on each side offer space for up to six people. No pricing is available on this one as it was a one-off project. Let us know in the comments if you could see yourself living in one of these mini homes, and if so, which one is your favorite? Number one. This project came about when the designer drew inspiration from a friend's buildings during a visit to Thailand. A total of three domed areas make up the home. The main living area has a couch that can be laid flat for use as a bed. The kitchen area has a countertop with a sink. Underneath is a mini fridge and a swing out single burner gas stove. To the left is the bathroom area, which has a plywood door covered with woven bamboo. The jungle-themed bathroom has a shower that allows the water to flow through river rocks to the drain area. The sink was made using local pottery and bamboo. The bedroom area has a queen-size bed with two round windows that double as seats. The top of this dome has a gazebo built on it with a bamboo roof and a hammock. Wooden steps leading up to it were carved out of wood from an old temple. Skylights on the domes allow natural light and airflow. Lighting fixtures throughout the structure were custom made using baskets and other items to provide textured patterns on the walls. The estimated cost on this one came to about $9,000. Hey 
Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.